Thank you immensely for this uh, honor this morning. Well, you know, I'm speaking to my friends. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate the honor. <laughs> the Excellency, we have come this morning as a, a delegation from uh, your great party, the People's Democratic Party. We we'll bring very, very warm greetings from uh, Senator Ahmed Makafi, the Chairman of the National Theatrical Committee, Senator Ben uh, We've already submitted the report. They've mandated us to submit copies of the report to your excellencies. And so we are very, very delighted to be here you know, this morning. And uh, I want to thank this delegation. Uh, they had to assemble very quickly from various uh, parts. Uh, and that's, uh, I'm deeply appreciative of their making the time to see your excellency. The committee was set up in November last year um, by the party. Uh, it's a large committee. Uh, we then, uh, after our first plenary session, which lasted about three days, we worked very hard to identify the key problem areas affecting the party and came out with about 11 major areas that we needed to look into seriously and then find solutions and uh, the 11 then <coughs> turned out to be uh, the main syndicate groups so instead of subcommittees we organized the committee into problem solving syndicate groups and uh, chaired by some of the very distinguished ladies and gentlemen that are here. For example, uh, Syndicate One <coughs> was chaired by Chief Tommy Kimi and uh, Haji Azena Maina. Chief Tommy Kimi is in, uh, uh, we wanted to be here this morning. He asked me to convey his very, very profound apologies. And then uh, we had uh, Syndicate Two, uh, looking at the uh, issue of uh, how to organize congresses excellently. One was looking at uh, how do we revive and re-energize the party nationwide. And then, of course, uh, Syndicate 3, uh, looking at uh, essentially the issues of party supremacy, party discipline, and uh, the best practices worldwide in terms of internal democracy within each party. And then Syndicate 5, or Syndicate 3 was led by Senator Ibrahim Ida. Uh, and uh, they will now have Syndicate uh, 5 that uh, looked at uh, review of our constitution and revision of the uh, manifesto uh, led by Dr. Mwazu Babangida Aliu and the uh, Right Honorable uh, Emeka Ihediwa. <coughs> then uh, Syndicate uh, uh, 
uh, five and uh, that was four, syndicate five, looking at legal matters, a lot of uh, the legal intricacies and difficulties. Then, of course, uh, we had a, the syndicate six, looking at the ways in which we now, on a sustainable basis, be able to raise finances for the party. And they came up with some very innovative you know, ideas about uh, party funding. And then Syndicate 7, we, we thought under an APC-controlled uh, INEC, because this INEC uh, to us is not really independent anymore. It's not like your INEC. Your INEC was very independent. Your INEC was very fair. Your INEC was allowed to do its work. And uh, I must say, uh, we take this opportunity to pay tribute to you for laying the foundations of free, fair, and credible elections anywhere in the world. I think we should just appreciate the support of Very, very, very important. And uh, even when it came to a point where uh, it affected you, you now say we will obey the will of the people. And that is giving the party a tremendous uh, image worldwide. So that Syndicate 7, we ask them, how do you win elections under this kind of regime? Uh, so they came up with ideas of how to win elections convincingly, even under a situation like this. Uh, a team of very brilliant uh, professors and the experts on how to win elections in a free, fair, and uh, credible system that uh, we visit. Then uh, Syndicate uh, you know, uh, 8, we charge Syndicate 8 uh, with looking at uh, how we can uh, encourage all other, uh, uh, all other uh, parties who believe those lovers of democracy from other parts of the world, even like Nigeria and other parts. And then, of course, we were finished with the final syndicate uh, 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 on media. Uh, so we organized ourselves in such a way that uh, the work of the committee was assigned in various areas. So the report we are bringing today is uh, full of uh, very specific, very uh, uh, well thought out, and very effective strategies of ensuring that the party is not only revived, energized, but effectively, as it were, uh, moving to mobilize towards uh, uh, winning elections by the grace of God in 2019. We don't want to take your precious time uh, in uh, going through uh, the various chapters, but I think it's important uh, for us to emphasize that uh, with the issue of how to revive this party, uh, the committee thought very, very wisely that we must do our best to reach out to all leaders and elders and others within the party that in one way or another may not have been happy with uh, things done in the party. We reconnect with them and, and ensure that uh, everybody is on board. Then the youth and the women, they consider to be the very, very powerful you know, uh, groups within the party and that we haven't uh, really, as it were, organized them effectively in the past. So the, the, the suggestion is that uh, we may actually bring back more or less like a youth wing <coughs> and a women wing, so as to be vibrant, organized, and they are the ones, the main drivers you know, uh, of the party, uh, because the youth and the women, you neglect them, then you have a serious problem in any election. And uh, we also want to highlight, uh, in terms of uh, the issue of uh, internal democracy, uh, everybody agreed that one of the key problems that we faced in the past <coughs> was really lack of genuine internal democracy within the party, how we elect candidates for elections. And uh, the committee, the syndicate came up with brilliant ideas of how we should do this. And I think it was very popular that uh, we actually returned to the days that we started with of uh, direct primaries. Uh, in such a way that every member of the party who has a registered member of the party will have the right and the power to come out during primaries to say, look, I prefer Mr. X to Mr. Y. Uh, and uh, a number of other set of very, very important things uh, were brought out in uh, the issue of internal democracy. 
uh, the other area that is worth highlighting is our reaching out to friendly parties uh, because of inter-party affairs. We felt it's very, very important to really, as it were, build up on the emerging two-party system in Nigeria. Since the PDP is already on the ground and the APC has emerged, we thought we should reach out to all the other you know, parties that are friendly with the, with the uh, uh, PDP, <coughs> like the People's Redemption Party, Social Democratic Party, uh, APCA, Accord Party, <coughs> Labour Party, Alliance for Democracy, and about uh, seven of them. And then when we, are, we actually had our, <coughs> our meeting after submitting our report the other day, and uh, two or three more are willing to really <coughs> come to us, the National Conscience Party and a few others. So we are meeting with them step by step. And after our first meeting with the groups that we are talking with, uh, we set up a subcommittee under the chairmanship of uh, Senator <coughs> Ibrahim Ida, who is to harmonize the key positions in terms of the core values, the principles, the key programs, and the basis of our really working together. <coughs> and uh, so far, it's been taken <coughs> very seriously by the by the other parties. <coughs> so, Mr. 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 President, we have the honor <coughs> this morning to present a report <coughs> to you, which has been very well <coughs> articulated, and uh, we thought we should take this opportunity to present a copy to you. We know you will study it because you are a great party person, a person who loves our party, very disciplined. We know that you have uh, some ideas because this will now go through the various organs in the party for approval. So I have the honor sir, to present. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, chairman, thank you. Uh, one of uh, our great leader, Professor Jerry Gana, is chairing the committee. I know he will chair very well. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Sir. Thank you, Excellency. I'll put that in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And, uh, my colleagues in the uh, Green Party, you are all welcome. First, let me commend uh, the great job this uh, committee have done. I also most sincerely commend the leadership of uh, Senator McAfee and his team and their vision to set up this committee. Because that's the only way you can strengthen institutions. That's the only way you can strengthen political parties. And uh, I am one person who believe that for a nation to grow, the institutions must be very strong, just like you mentioned about uh, the INEC. There is no way a nation will grow with weak institutions. Because well, everything about politics about the people, yes. not about the individuals. And as long as we are interested in the people, we are interested in the growth of society, we are interested in the development of the nation. The only thing that will make it possible is that the institutions will be strong. You can see as powerful as America, look at the natural. And the court just says, no, you can't do this. And uh, mm -hmm. of course, he has to sort that one out mm -hmm. before you move further. Mm -hmm. That's the strength of the institution. That's the only way society could be. Individuals could be regulated so that we don't go overboard. Mm. I, I listened to your presentation that day I was in my office and I just suspended everything and I won the <laughs> presentation. And I think it was quite <laughs> So, even as we are summarizing, yeah. already I listened to you <laughs> that day in a more detailed uh, yeah. presentation and I comment uh, with the activities. Uh, that is the way to grow. Because uh, I remember, especially when you talk about uh, uh, di direct and indirect uh, mm, primaries. Uh, primaries. Uh, direct primaries is ultimate. It's the best way of selecting mm. candidates. But the greatest problem society has is how to manage direct primaries. Because it means that, uh, if for, you know, for example, you want to elect a governor or a president, you cannot bring everybody to one place. That means that votings will take place at either at the ward level, the local government level, mm. or the unit level, or whatever. And part, part of like PDP, that there's no polling unit that you don't have at few PDP. <laughs> 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 PDP is still the biggest party. 
way to stop the position mm. is to make sure that people don't control the, uh, the delegates. Mm. If you go by delegate election, mm. it's easier to manage. Mm. I don't select delegates that at least 70 percent of the delegates will not be under the control of anybody. Mm. And I said that the presidential primaries are better because elected delegates uh, are just about 25 percent or a little less because for presidential primaries, we have one elected delegate by local government. So it's 777 elected delegates. The other ones are statutory delegates mm. that cannot change their mind. And I was saying that if we cannot go direct primaries, then let us make sure that we increase the number of statutory delegates. People who have held offices in the parties at different levels, even if it's the level of a councillor. Now we have uh, delegates who elect. Uh, Maybe with this report will change, but one other thing is that our councillors are not even delegates. Mm -hmm. This is quite odd. Yeah. But we'll go to the what? Mm -hmm. The next delegates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The councillor that have won the election is not yeah, delegates. Not a delegate. <laughs> so that people have held offices in the party before, who have been governors, deputy governors, senators, house of Representatives, house of assembly, and so on and so forth. So the party can come up with the criteria where some level of offices. Party chairman, state mm. chairman, state mm. auditors, and the, both the party offices and the uh, offices that control uh, the government. If people have held some of these offices, all this group of people, they are still in the party, they could be automatic delegates. Mm. So that people that are known by everybody. Nobody will go and manipulate a list. If I've been a, a speaker of a state before I'm a speaker, there's no way anybody can go and remove my name. <laughs> so you will not manipulate. So by the time we have a reasonable number of statutory delegates that are more than uh, uh, three quarters, more than seven, five percent of the total delegates that will vote, then it becomes difficult for somebody to go and manipulate that list. At best, you can go and but of course, it's all about talking to people. Yeah. So if you talk to the people at the poll, mm. you vote for you, fine, but at least nobody will wake up and come and write, <laughs> could I vote some people on. and uh, write a list of delegates, then go and count that delegates in one hotel and... Yes, yes. Yeah. So those are the things I was yeah. suggesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, direct yeah. primary ultimate, yeah. but my worry is managing yeah. the yeah. direct primary. Yeah. 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 But uh, I have you very well that they said that there's recommendation for direct primaries, but in the case there will be no direct primaries, there's an alternative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Dr. Bangla, they were there. They are the yeah. Yeah. So, They worked out an alternative yes. in case. In case. Yeah. So, that, but uh, as a summary, I have to thank all of you. This is the way to strengthen the party. And I believe the reforms are made. Now we have made the youth wing. Before, we had mm. uh, 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 youth, we have women, but they were not yeah. very well defined by our own mm. yes. constitution. Yeah. So, though they were doing very well, because we cannot win election without the youth and the women. That's true. Because they, they, they are more than 80% of the voting population. <laughs> oh, somebody is smiling. Like <laughs> 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 but uh, the youth are very well defined. Yeah. 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 I <laughs> so I'm, I'm most grateful for this visit, but I will also look at it. And uh, if there are certain uh, observations that I have, I will put it in writing and send it to you. But I listen to you, I'm quite pleased. I'm not sure I'll have any uh, observation to make. So thank you for this. It's a clear sign that 
uh, the BDP will do better at the next Commend the relationship we are establishing with other political parties, mm -hmm. and that is yeah. the way to go. Because yeah. uh, the politics are like uh, human relations. Mm -hmm. So if some group of parties and BDP think alike, we should be able to have some conversations. So that we should, there are certain areas where we have common interests. Mm -hmm. so, uh, where we have common interests, we should be able to collectively protect that uh, common uh, interests. And while we have differences, so manage the differences in a way that will not create uh, yes. acrimony. So, Prof, I thank you and members of this uh, great committee. And convey my appreciation to our chairman. Thank you all. Uh, the chairman of Nasara is uh, representing all the state chairmen. Uh, Mr. Francis Orogu, uh, he came in from Nasara this morning. Yeah. Yeah. We have somewhere to manage them. Yeah, we uh, well, okay. Thank you very much. Excellency, there's a, a people say when you climb any rock or tree, you now fetch all the fire you before you have to fetch. <laughs> now that we are here, we will now just present this report. I think all my delegation would like to join you in a group photography. We we'll have your permission. Yes, we will. All right. Yes, oh, okay. you have side. Okay. Oh. Because okay. we're glad. That one on the press. This is a presentation, so it's not a press conference. <laughs> no question and answers. No question and answers. Hey, if they remove this, we can achieve it. So when, when you are ready, uh, gentlemen of the press, that's the presentation. We will just have a good photograph outside. So you may want to pull it. Let's go outside and set on the side. I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, it's such a short night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.